I'm slowly getting back into it. You know, just trying to be light on the body, uh, make sure that my body is well taken care of. Um, I'm trying to play till I'm 37, 40 years old, um, like Brad Newley, so. What's up guys, Xavier Rattan Mays here, former NBA, current NBL player, just coming off a great season with Melbourne United. Follow along with me, I'm gonna take you through a day in the life, preseason edition. Here at Auburn facility in, in, in Sydney. Today, this morning, I came in, uh, lifted in the weight room for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then um, went through a shooting routine, um, a normal shooting routine that I would do uh, every day, uh, 150 makes. Then came out here and, and, and started uh, going up and down for one of the first times this off season with, with, with a few of the guys, um, and, and just kind of rolled with that. Man, off season has been great. I'm getting older now, so uh, it's been one all about relaxation and, and really trying to get my body right. Um, so this off season, has, off season has been great so far. You know, one thing that I'm super blessed about is I've had the ability to work with some of the highest level strength and conditioning coaches and on court trainers. Um, my strength and conditioning coach for the last three, four years is uh, PJF Performance. I, I, he's known all throughout the world and he has been absolutely unbelievable. You know, there, we don't bench press, you know, we, we don't do any of, any of that stuff where we're training like we're, you know, high level NFL football players, you know, like all the things that I do in the weight room have to be transferable to on the court, you know, my knees and my ankles have to be able to, to bear weight of certain movements, you know, my, I, I need to be able to put certain load on, um, on, on my body to make sure that, you know, I stay injury free. Knock on wood, thank the Lord, I've never had, you know, a high major injury that's kept me out of, you know, any games. I pride myself on being a guy that can, you know, play uh, through a whole season and, and be um, available. Avoid picking outside, especially on your heads you pull up, avoid going here and picking it up here. Let the ball come to your pocket. Yeah, come to your pocket. Up. Oh. I've found a lot of comfort in my routine and in the things that I do daily. This for me is, is my career, it's my, my life. And you know, for me to be able to come in every single day and go through a routine that um, not only pushes me, but you know, keeps me grounded um, and, and you know, really allows me to take my game to the next level has been, um, has been really good and it, it makes me feel good to know that I can come in and go through the same things. Obviously you tweak things here and there and you, you do th different things, but um, we always have a base um, and we always have a routine that we do day in and day out. So I'm Ney from Breakdown Basketball. I um, run a training business, started in March 2021 and I had the privilege to get X out with me once he signed with Illawarra Hawks, which was a great opportunity and our friendships just blossomed, being two years now running strong. Anytime off season comes back to me, so we're here. Uh, so today was a lot of just shooting. So for the past two weeks, three weeks, we're getting him with some runs, a little bit of touch finishes, but we're just trying to get his shot perfected to the point where there's no like minor errors. So that's just the main aim. That's a rap, man. Not for them facts, man. A slap to the face. Reality's back, man. I'm trying to keep it real and keep my stacks, fam. So yeah, that, that routine that I go through is um, 150 makes. It's actually 158 with free throws. Um, it's, it's just a routine that I started. You know, it's spot shots, off the dribble, um, you know, jab, step threes. It's a variety of shots that I see constantly in games. Um, I go through that segment knowing that I, I see these shots every single day, um, in every game, in every practice. These are the shots that I shoot that I'm most comfortable with. At the end of it, I extend to half court, you know, um, a step or two in from half court. And I started working on that with one of my trainers back home in Canada, um, Vlad, where we, we started extend, extending range to where I, it becomes really hard to guard me if I'm shooting from, from that deep. So 
of just making sure that my, my touch is always right and making sure that I, I can shoot those shots, whether it's um, at the end of clocks, buzzer beaters, whatever it is, um, just making sure that those shots are never going to be foreign to me. Hold on, Q. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actress. I don't fall for it, I'm privy to all your tactics. Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin. Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the lion's den. And I'm Mufasa, big boss in charge of coming in like a bull. You see me raising the stock up, uh. Yeah, so I, I come from a culture in Canada and in the U.S. where um, basketball is end all and be all, basically. Um, and you know, like I said, in Australia, it's it's a growing culture. Basketball is, is growing. It's, it's right up there. Obviously, with the TV deals with the NBA, NBL now, is has been great. Um, but rugby is still top of the top in, in you know in, in Australia so an AFL I'm um, being in Melbourne you know seeing the AFL so um, I would love to, to be able to come here and bring a little bit of that culture um, you know bring a little bit of that excitement uh, with, with basketball I want to you know obviously do do a few camps um, I want to start doing some private uh, high-level runs here for the, the pro athletes in Sydney I want you know Sydney to be a place that um, the Australian pros want to come home to and, and they have, you know, um, a place to go and have high level runs and be super competitive and, um, and do all those things. I think the infrastructure for Australian basketball is there. Um, and I, I think I'm a guy that, you know, can come in and insert myself in, in different ways that, you know, it hasn't been seen in the Australian market. But there's, there's definitely a few teams in the mix. And um, for me, it's just going to be all about fit, you know, where is the best fit for, for myself and for my family. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm at a point in my career where I want to maximize um, my potential, my earning potential. Um, and, you know, we're just in a process right now of weighing options and but just being patient. You know, I've, I've put myself in a really good position to be able to, you know, have different options. And I'm thankful for that. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely blessed to be able to have that. And, you know, Australia is always going to be home. And um, I absolutely love the NBL. I love what they've done with the league. It's a growing league. Um, Larry has, has done absolutely amazing things. And um, to, to see its trajectory is absolutely amazing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to if I'm in the NBL in 24 or whether it's down the road. I, I don't know yet, but um, it's definitely exciting knowing that I, I have an opportunity to always be back here with getting an Australian passport and being a citizen.